blossoms. They eventually realize that no one in Shiro is responsible for Insi's misfortune. As they, as they get closer to the truth, it appears that the mastermind who wanted Insi dead is... Right, hello, hello, hello everyone! How are you guys feeling? Oh man, come on! I mean, you can see the baby in there, right? Can they? Well, I think this is actually a powder brand of the cat. Oh my goodness! I think this is the best crowd that we've had throughout the entire day, so I believe you guys can go a bit louder than that. Guys, the cast of Shiro makes some noise! Yeah, I think all of them are just starstruck, star right? yeah, but okay, guys, thank you so much for actually taking that time to be here with your fans. Congratulations on Shiro. And um, yeah, as in conjunction with Father's Day itself, probably, you know, um, any special wishes to all that from all four of you, to all everyone here, probably a short speech. Well, first of all, I want to wish all the dads who are in the audience Happy Father's Day, Putin Jie Kuai Le. Today is a special day for the dads, and I think sometimes we tend to forget the importance of, I mean like, the, the, the man, the father. Mm -hmm. So right, today I think uh, it's important that we give credit to the men in our lives for, you know, raising us to be fine young ladies and also I think uh, to, for supporting the wives. Like my, my, my husband's now at home looking after the kids. So even though it's Father's Day, I feel like I should have been home and you know, but still, I'm happy to be here with you so that I can wish all of you a happy Father's Day. Well said, thank you so much, Joanne. And once again, a uh, good happy Father's Day to every single one of you. But let's not get to the point, you know, probably, uh, I don't know if you actually shared about, about individually your characters, you know, and probably what were the challenges that all of you faced. Probably we'll start with Nick. Yeah, probably want to share a bit about your character and um, yeah, what were the challenges that you faced playing that particular role itself? My character in Zai Shiro is uh, called Guan Jin mm -hmm. So if uh, people have been following Shiro, mm -hmm. they will have find out that I have a special identity inside. Identity inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. So would you guys like to say or is it still a spoiler? I think, right. I think, I think it's fine, right? Yeah. Uh, can can see no no. Should be fine. So far episode five. Yeah, five, episode five. five. Actually, I've been exposed already. Ah, okay, so, okay. I'm a uh, Interpol undercover yep. inside Ooh. the Rovers Grandpa's company. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even though we are best friends, yep. I'm there on a secret mission. Ah, yeah. it's very exciting. Yes, definitely. You know, and sometimes these kind of people are very scary, you know. You may not know, they're just everywhere. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I don't know if uh, some people here maybe they haven't watched it. Yeah. If you if you're going to just catch on, you will notice that Nick has a lot of secret rendezvous with yeah. another man, oh. and it's like always oh, kind of like at the gym, uh, and then in the on sand, in the on sand, oh, and, the you, and then at the beginning you'll be like, what's going on? Uh, Choose places like less obvious to the public. Yeah, right? yeah I mean, at once it's very obvious to less obvious though. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nick. I think I wouldn't want to like press on, scared he might actually spill. Mm -hmm. And Joanne is uh, my female bodyguard. Yeah. And Prince Boatwright. Uh, okay, so uh, this character is very, very complex because uh, it's in the grey area. Okay. So, let's say you are watching Shiro right now, or sometimes air up in episode 5, you will find that my character is a bit evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like the typical character of fire. The bad guy. The bad guy, yeah. Yeah, but actually, I have the good side of me, okay? And there's a big twist in the whole story plot. And I mean, we really cannot say much. We really cannot say much. So you have to watch all the way until, I would say, after episode 15, then you will know my true identity. Let's see, something, something like me, but it's a bit more complex than me. Well, something like me, but a bit more complex. I mean, what is more complex than having your true identity, though? You know, identity, you know, that. But I think, okay, if it's one thing I can pick up from that, he is a bad guy, yeah. but also he's a good guy inside of him, as what he said. Uh, let's just see how that works out. But you know, no bad guys tell you that, hey, I'm a bad guy. Every bad guy tells you that, hey, I'm the real guy. Right? But that's the scary part sometimes, you know? It's this kind of guy that you have to actually keep a lookout for. Okay, I mean, that's a bit too personal. But... <laughs> uh, so, so my good friends like... So if he says he's a... Actually, I'm a good guy, right? Uh, okay. You have to be me, I'm a good guy. Is that just you know, a pick-up line or...? <laughs> it's not a pick-up line. <laughs> Some way it turns out to be a pick-up line. No, I mean, the thing is, uh, my character is less complex. Okay. And that's why I believe what it makes sense. Uh, and, uh, okay, 
So how do I actually get a new Joanne in the show? Oh, okay. He's just Okay, 
all four. I think what's interesting is that we rarely hear of female bodyguards. Rarely. So for Joanne and Cheryl personally, you know, at the very first time you were called to say to play a female bodyguard, you know, what was going through your mind? You know, apart from the, okay, you need to be tough, you know, play, you need to do a lot of action scenes. So, yeah, I'll take us through the thought process about that. Well, for me, I, I did, you know, have gone through uh, martial arts training in the past. So when I got the uh, announcement for this role myself, yeah. I was really excited. I thought I was going to play this really cool, um, really, really, um, you know, bad kind of character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very, um, in, in Chinese they say shua. Okay. Right? But then I didn't know I was such a girly girl on your show. So it was kind of hard to balance that girly side and, you know, the seriousness of the bodyguard training. Mm -hmm. So you win? How about yourself? Well, actually, they told me I was playing a photographer. Ah! Oh. And then I said, okay, it sounds fun. And then when I come on and read the script, I was like, oh. <laughs> so how did you process that? No, I mean, the thing is, I mean, the title itself, Shiro, is very attractive because yeah. it's sort of like a female hero. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to play like a superhero character. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I'm thinking like Wonder Woman style, you know, the show. And then uh, later on I realized that, I mean, I don't get to do a lot of what they get to do, which I'm terribly envious of. Okay. Right? Because yeah. um, I only have one, like I said, I only have one client, and there's nothing really exciting, so exciting that happens to him, you know? Yeah, yeah. So for them it's really fun, and I, and, and I also went through the training just to get an idea of how uh, the three are like. And can I, can I just share, like, one of the hardest things that I had to go through during the training? Yeah, I was actually about to get to that question, you know, because I believe, you know, from all the action scenes just now, um, you guys went through a lot. You know, from Romeo and Nick probably, yes. you know, you guys went through a lot. So please take us through one of, one of the most challenging scenes or process for the whole entire thing for all of you. Yeah, probably uh, thinking of from where uh, Joey was uh, explaining about that, honestly. I, actually, I was going to share about the, the rehearsal process rather than the filming because in the, in the rehearsal process, there was this one part, did you have to do it? Where we put on that gear, you know, the full headgear with the whole armor and then we had to fight in it. Yes, yeah. We yeah. So, uh, I, didn't go, I didn't go through that training, but yep. uh, Joanne did. Yep. And I was getting because I was there training as well and yeah. I just thought it must have been, if, if we had to wear that on yeah. set, it would be so hot and so mm -hmm. difficult to... So there was, there was one scene where I was uh, training to be a bodyguard and I had to go through the exam. So yes. for, for the record here, it's not easy to just be a bodyguard. You can't say, oh, okay, I want to be a bodyguard and that's it. Like, they actually have to go through training and she was one of my trainers as well, you know, physically and also mentally. Mm -hmm. So that, that gear that we had to put on was like this headgear and it was, you feel very chunky mm -hmm. and your vision is sort of just just in front and you can't really turn your head Ouch. and you're sweating inside and it's so like it, it was so hard to breathe mm -hmm. and then you gotta like fight so that was really one of like the physically more demanding scenes that i had to do and then the other one was falling into the pool oh i, I, I think they must have seen that falling into the pool it looks beautiful like <sighs> which i'm sure that's how all of you feel right now because it's very really hard you really just want to fall into the pool that's what i was going to say right look at that i mean early morning. and it was short like 1 a.m. in the morning, and I, and I have a phobia of falling backwards, right, with that dress. So that was also a hard scene because the pool was 2.5 meters deep. Oh my. And then I needed weight belts to sort of help me sink. Oh. And uh, I'm, I'm also a little bit terrified of water. Okay, so so it was a so physically these were the two more memorable stuff that happened to me. And and, and while it only appeared on screen for like I think. Five seconds. It, you know, it was it was a long shoot. It's always the case. It's always the case. You know. So for me, guys, you know, this is just a little insight. Or probably you think, you know, it's not what it seems. You know, the process behind it, just so to look so graceful. It's actually very, very. very I always wanted to give up, honestly. Oh my. At two thirty a.m., I remember. I was like, what time is it? Two thirty. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't hold my breath. Yeah. I can't do it. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this scene. And, yeah. I, and for the first time, I mean, I've been in in, in this industry for twenty years. Yeah. And I felt like that was the only time I felt like giving up. I was like, I can't finish this because I was choking on water. I was tired. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. But I think, I think your hard work and your sacrifice perseverance actually paid off from that scene this time. If, if I'm correct, if I'm wrong, it was that scene. The, the one in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. I think it was good, right guys? It, was, it, it turned out good, yeah? 
Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. 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 For me, actually, I thought it will be like fighting scenes. Mm. But actually, it's not. For me, it's the stunts. For you me. have to know, you know. You have to know, you say. <laughs> just know like yes, no, you, you do a whole. Okay, okay. Pause. And then double check the face. Okay, okay. You can't see it, you can't see it. But actually, those are not done by me. I, I just have to do a simple front row. Mm -hmm. And I can't do it properly. Oh my it's God. so hard because uh, it's on a hub, up hill yeah. and uh, it's quite crowded on the weekend so a yeah. lot yeah. of people was watching so I was quite nervous to do it like you know one thing and yeah. do it well yeah. in the end I took quite a lot number of times ah. and it was really stressful So before this were you naturally athletic? Uh, I guess I am I am it, Like what, what, what sports do you play if you play? I anyway. play basketball Ah Actually you play basketball can jump you jump in front of it yeah, I see you easy, yeah. I do work, I need a Okay, but I'll be heads off, you know, those are little hard work, you know, that we do, like probably we don't see all the time. For Romeo. Okay, uh, actually, when Joanne said that, like, I'm his, well, I'm her only client. Yeah, it's quite boring because they're yeah. like, exciting. It's not true because there's assassin that's coming after me. So, uh, she had to protect me and we did some, a lot of fighting scenes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, she, like, she, she did a lot of fighting scenes to protect me, but in the end, I'm the one that protecting her. Oh. Yeah, so actually, at first when I received this role, I thought that, oh, okay, it's about Shiro, female bodyguard, so they are the one fighting, not yeah. me, yeah. the CEO. But then, this, uh, the executive producer said, but when you fight, you are better than all the Shiro. I was like, oh my oh. god. Yeah, so it was, a, it was a very memorable fighting scene with uh, Duane and uh, the stuntman. Yeah, yeah. Then, um, I think the next exciting part will be filming in Canberra. Because we all went to the capital of Australia. Oh yes, I think I saw that. Some of the seeds were filmed overseas, right, Kevin, right? Yeah, so uh, take us to the house at the entire experience. It was about uh, two weeks trip. So we, we all had a lot of beautiful shots over there. Oh, amazing. Um, there's romantic scenes and also very, very sorrow, sad scenes for Duran because uh, Carrie, her sister, yeah. lost in uh, Canberra. Um, she's back there and I keep finding her, keep crying. So the first five episodes of your work is I keep crying and keep shouting. Chelsea! Ah, so it's very, it's very painful for her. But for oh us, it's actually very happy. <laughs> 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 because we get to do all the fun scenes. Actually, Nick is the happiest because he went hot air balloon yeah, hiking. Like, uh, oh, she was sick. So I have my trusted companion up with me. Give it up for Ryan. Okay, so he'll be helping me actually. Okay, this is a very interesting game. Okay, so. Right, so how this goes, okay, this goes is that all of you here will need to be you will need to pay attention to all the answers shouted out by the cast or written by the cast because it will give you guys a idea of probably what's the code. Yeah. So the code itself is a three digit number of which I've already picked. Okay? So it's very simple, very simple. So it goes like this. So if a digit, if they have to guess this number, okay? Um, everyone here have to guess. So no one knows the number except for Ryan. All right. So how it goes is that round one, you guys will write the number, and I will go to every single one of you and say that if a digit is part of the number but in the wrong place, it will be labeled P. If a digit is part of the number and in the right place, it will be labeled A. Alright, so for example, for example, I gave a number of uh, probably 
158. Yeah? So Romeo, he guesses 473. Well, technically, he doesn't qualify for any of the options, so I will reply with 0A, 0B. Moving on, Nick, for example, if he guesses 134, looks like he got at least one digit, right? Yeah? So I will reply him 1A, 0B. Okay? Get it just a bit? Alright, so this is where you guys come in. Because whatever answers that they write, you guys can actually help out. Okay, and if you actually manage to shout out the answer, you guys will walk with the prize. Simple? Ten? Alright? Nick is really looking at me. <laughs> Nick is really looking at me. Nick, I'm so sorry, I can't help you with this. You have no one to help you today. <laughs> Do you guys get it? Yes? No? Alright. Okay, okay, I'll explain again, but this time I'll be slowly, okay? So, the name of the game is called Break the Code. And so I have with me a three-digit number. Only I and Ryan knows. So what the cars need to do, and all we need to do is to guess what is the three-digit code. So for example, I guess the number is 158. Okay? Okay, that's the correct answer, okay? That's the correct answer, 158, that's the correct answer. That's for me, example only, yeah? Yes. So, let's say for Joanne, she guesses uh, 158. Okay, okay, 157. Okay, 157. Okay, 157, huh? She will get 1A0B. Okay, what's the A, what's the B? Here it goes. If a digit is part of the number, but in the wrong place, it will be labeled as A. Okay, sorry, B. If a digit is part of the number and in the right place, it will be labeled as A. Correct? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, let's listen to Joanna. Let's say, for example, um, Romeo guess, right? Let's say he guess 417. Right? So it's also 1A. It's also 1A and 0B. Do you see it? It's also 1A and 0B. No, no, no. It's, it's, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's 0. It's, it's 1B and 1A. Okay, you know what? I think we shall go through one round and we see how it goes. Yeah, 1B is 0A. And you know why it's 1B, right? Because the 1 is, is correct but it's in the wrong position. So, the thing is when you know this alphabet, you don't know which number is correct and whether which number is in the right place. So it's your job to guess, okay? We're just here to help you. Then, I hope that helps. Okay, let's go with round 1. <laughs> Right, we good? Okay, if you guys have heard or played Mastermind, it's exactly like that. Mastermind, yeah? It's exactly like that. Alright, let's go with round number one. Okay, write down your guesses. All of us, yes, at one time. 3 g Guys, there's no plan. Wow. They're cooking up the uh, Shiro um, plan. Yeah? Let me see. Yeah? Okay. Ryan? Okay, 0A, 0B. Okay, Joanne? 0A, 1B. Joanne? Wow, this is getting really interesting. 
一二三呀，一二三，对，这个，啊哈啊哈 ，Good。Okay, guys, you ready for round two? Okay, let's go for round two, huh? Remember, remember where you guys step off? Ryan, cannot like that, eh? Let I go to Gaji, eh? Organizer also right, very confused. Yeah, Ryan don't like that, don't sabo me. Okay, so how is it? Okay, okay, good. How about this? Let's just bomb the answers. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Anyone knows? Hmm. You? Hmm. Okay. Wait, ah. Okay. For them, it's not doctor. This is only for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for round two, guys. Round two. Round two. Ah, this is getting really interesting. You know, I'm having so much fun. Oh, you can go by. You can write out the possibilities. I like that. I like the spirit camaraderie. Okay. Round two. Round two. Okay. I think Nick. Nick is writing down first. Okay. What's the number, Nick? What's the second number? Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Romeo. Guys, so what's the number? The number is one, eight, six. Good job, guys. Round of applause for Nicho. Oh my. Yes, I got a feeling, but but you got the right one. You got the right one. Okay, probably uh, you guys want to take us through actually how do you decipher all this? Yeah, I think mainly from Cheryl's one because there's zero five three. There's no correct. So we I, I took out like three and five. So I just the random guess with the correct position. I just took one, eight, and six. Wow, finally he did something on his own. So good job. <laughs> that's why, that's why he's in the pool. Yeah. But congratulations guys. Actually, you wanted something now. Uh, the organizer thought that you guys would actually take like four to five rounds now. But you guys did it in two rounds. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, but they did it in two rounds. Congratulations guys. A round of applause for the cast of Shiro. Come on. Great job guys, great job, great job. Thank you so much. And hope you guys actually had fun. Okay, hope you guys had fun. You know, even though the game might be a bit, uh, a bit hard, but trust me. Okay, trust me. You guys will do it. You guys will continue to love it. Okay. Okay. So sorry. All right. So um, do we have one more with the audience? Do we have? We have one more with the audience. Okay. Wow. Right, so we have a second number. I believe let's just show the cast first. Now you all have to be the one to just shout out. Okay, let's just improvise the game a bit. Okay, as much as it is, the cast know the numbers. But now, okay, you know the numbers, but you can probably give hints as to what digit it is. It's pretty much like charades or something like that, but it's just in a digit form. So. If you're ready, please guess the numbers. Audiences, this one's for you. All the cast know the numbers, so come on, shout out any number. Oh, sorry. Maybe actually, give hints. Like maybe for first digit is this, this number. Can, this number. can, can, can. Okay, so first number, first number is between one to five. First number. Anyone, anyone, anyone? Okay, anyone, anyone who makes the guess, raise your hand first. Uh, anyone, anyone? Okay, wait, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, then. 
Ah, uh, yes. We heard four. Three. Three. It is three correct? Uh, no. Three is not correct. Six. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone else? Five is not correct. Uh, two, two is correct. Two is correct. Okay, two. Who? Who said two? Okay. okay. The lady at the back. The one with the... Uh, I think it's a flower shed. <laughs> okay, we got a little goodie for you. So the first number is it? Two. Might be correct. Might be correct. <laughs> okay, you just changed the game. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Yeah, it's here. You know, we'll be doing it here. Two is correct. Okay, so two is correct. What is the other two digits? Moving on to the second one. Shout out any number. The correct number. Uh, huh? And it was a little boy. Okay, where? What do you say? Zero! zero. Yes, yeah, zero hero! Okay, zero, zero, zero! Two, zero. One more digit. Uh, maybe they should get our attention so that we can pick them in. Okay, guys. Rubio just said you all must get their attention, so shout out. Alright, then only I know who to actually go to. So is that two? Two zero? Two zero eight. Bang. Wrong. We gotta pick someone, pick someone. Anyone? Anyone? Who, 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 who do you guys want? Pick the gentleman in green. Green? Green? You're right! Two zero seven. Oh yeah! Congratulations! <laughs> Good job! Okay, the, the, the guy green. Yep. Oh my! Well guys, thank you so much. I think it was a lot faster than expected. Alright, but once again, congratulations. Good job for taking part. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for being in good sport. And yep, I think we're almost coming to the end of the meet and greet. Okay guys, once again, don't forget to catch Shiro once again on Watch and also Channel 8. Win guys. Channel 8, Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Right, Channel 8, Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. And in lieu of Father's Day, once again, uh, probably uh, for you guys, maybe they say or something to dads here who probably just read, probably they missed out your speeches earlier on. So, take your time, guys. Just want to wish uh, all fathers a very happy Father's Day because uh, I think fathers are all superheroes. So, enjoy your day. Thank you so much, Nick Romeo. Alright, today is a very happy day because uh, I mean we are all four of us are here to celebrate Father's Day and also to promote our show. So a uh, very big happy Father's Day to all daddy. Uh, your, you guys are always our pillar of support in the family. So thank you very much. Joanne. I had a long speech just now, I let Cheryl talk. Okay, Cheryl, come on. Cheryl. No, no, keep it short and sweet. Um, it's very heartwarming to see so many fathers and their kids having fun here today. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and happy Father's Day once again. Right, thank you so much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give a shout out for the cast of Shiro. Round of applause, please. Come on. Okay, and I do not know, uh, can we start the photo taking? Do we have a photo taking session? I think we should take one like that. With them. Ah, uh, yes, please. Do we have an official photo? Uh, camera, camera. We use our phones, okay? Everybody, wipe your sweat. Touch up your hair. Okay, come on, thanks, woman. Touch up your hair, you know, put additional makeup and everything. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming and bringing the heat. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Have a good Father's Day. Thank you so much, everyone. For those of you guys here, don't.